the starting lineup for the visiting Memphis Grizzlies. At point guard, Scotty Pippen. At power forward, Santi Aldama. At the other forward position, Vince Williams. At the other guard position, Desmond Bain. At center, Jaron Jackson Jr. The head coach of the visiting team is Taylor Jenkins. And now the start line for your Orlando Magic. That guy, 6'4", number 14, Gary Harris. Center, 6'10, number 34, Wendell Carter Jr. At guard, 6'4, number 4, Jalen Sarah. At forward, 6'10. 22, Bob Wagner. At forward, 610, number five, Paolo and Carol. from 2K Sports. We're honoring diversity and culture tonight with the NBA celebration of Noche Latina. We'll watch the Memphis Grizzlies in this one as they go up against the Orlando Magic here at Amway Center. With Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. All right, a chance to check out stats for Desmond Bain. And he's had a rough past five games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through, and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Santi Aldama out there with Jackson. Then it's Desmond Bain, and it's Williams in at the three slot. And for Orlando, Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Suggs runs point with Harris next to him, and it's Carter in at the five. All right, Grant, as far as pace of play, these teams both methodical. You know, both teams are methodical and deliberate. I mean, they're comfortable, of course, operating in the half court, and they'll push the ball selectively when those opportunities present themselves. Here's Pippen. Williams from long range. Yes, Williams. and a nice assist from Jackson. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Picked by Carter. To the middle. Pass to Suggs. Harris outside. From the arc. The shot that time, not on target. Great D that time from Bain. Williams passes to Pippen. Bain with it. Now here's Jackson. Up and over Carter. Jackson can't get it to go. Wagner on the wing. Carter by Aldama. And stolen by Williams. Pass to Pippen. Orlando grabs the miss. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Grizzlies. That one was in Memphis. It was almost like they looked stunned when the game slipped through their fingers. Being on the wrong end of an upset leads to a quiet ride home. You try not to dwell on losses like that, but hey, you can't help it. Hopefully, they'll learn something from that defeat. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. 
Jackson gets the bucket. One to impress scouts. Stand 6'11 and hit the three with consistency. Jackson has such a bright future. And Carroll outside. Pass to Wagner. Over Williams. The kick out to Ben Carroll. Shot clock at six. Oh, a special move before that shot. They have Ben Carroll covered inside, but he stays cool and gets his shot through. Pippen, pass to Bain. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Jackson's got five. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Now here's Wagner. He came away with 14 points in his last game. To the inside. Carter can't get it to go. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. They set the pick. Here's Bain. And the Grizzlies get another bucket right there. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant, there wasn't a clear first overall pick in 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro was Rookie of the Year, and he's certainly a player you can build around. Here's Pippen. The Magic making their last shot. Pass to Bain. Over Harris. The rebound by Carter. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Now Ben Carroll. Williams defending. Aldama with a double team. Wagner for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game played. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Harris, the shot is good. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. For Memphis, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Here's Pippen. 11 points for him last game against the Lakers. And the basket by Bain. Shooter shoot. Once Desmond has the ball, he's into his motion. Wagner against Williams. And Carroll with a screen on Williams. Wagner outside. Pass to Ben Carroll. Inside. That falls. Nice set up by Harris. Using all that size in close. Van Carroll, he understands his strengths on offense. Down low. Here's Aldama. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got four rebounds now. And here's Wagner. Here's Harris outside, and that one's good. That makes him two for three. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Grizzlies have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're five of ten. Jackson finds Bain from 12 feet, and that's good for two. Bain's got seven points in the game. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pass to Carter, and Carroll outside. Picked by Carter, to the paint. Wagner, right side. Over Williams, and it's Wagner missing. Missed opportunity, it's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Pippen, pass to Bain. Here he goes, that's good. For the day, he's four for six. I love the physicality behind Bain's drive. Letting the defense know he isn't changing course. To the inside, Suggs. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Suggs has gotten his second bucket of the game. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. 
Now here's Jackson. 17 points for him. Last game against the Lakers. You can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. Hits the trifecta. You don't see that play regularly from them, but it led to a made three. So you can't knock them for trying it. Here's Suggs. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Williams against Wagner. The Magic need to put one up here. Carter from outside. Aldama grabs the board. Memphis has gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. Outside Bain. The three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And <laughs> they've got the D reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Here's Suggs. Pass to Wagner. And Carroll passes to Suggs. Knocks down the long K. Suggs has got seven. When you get faced up at one end, you want to get it back at the other. And you know he was going to try to respond. Those threes canceled each other out perfectly. Jackson with a screen on Harris. The floater. Oh, Carter with the block. Showing solid awareness on the defensive end. Carter gets a beat on that and sends it back. Pass to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Bain. Here's Ben Carroll. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Williams passes to Pippen. And here's Aldama. Still no points. The three from Bain. Connects from downtown. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Orlando trailing here. And the Magic call time here. There's so much attention being paid to the postseason chase right now, Smitty. You think players get too caught up in looking down the road? B.A., we see it every year. A team's in great position. They get complacent, and they fall out of form. And the last thing we want to do is stumble into the playoffs. Orlando making some changes. Wagner's checked in for Ben Carroll. Fultz comes in for Harris. And Cole Anthony subbed in for Suggs. Fultz against Kennard. Fultz passes to Anthony. Thirteen feet out. The shot no good. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Pass to Goodwin. Back to Kennard. The three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Here's Fultz. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. The <laughs> boy. Boy, both teams lighting it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Now here's Kennard. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. To the middle. Pass to Goodwin. Just five on the clock. Offline with a three. Orlando has gone two of five from deep. Wagner outside. Picked by Carter. Anthony right side. Here's Fultz. Jacks up a three. Kennard with the rebound. A minute 37 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Jackson. Jackson outside. Aldama outside. Jackson right side. The shot from the low post is good. Jackson's got his third basket of the night. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Well, Smitty, Luke Kennard doesn't have a complete game, but his shooting is elite. Yes, B.A., as a knockdown shooter, he is one of the best in the business. When he gets it going, he can bury you with his triples. Now here's Fultz. 
Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Stretching the floor, Carter's skill set is as versatile and polished as any other big man in the 2018 draft class. Kennard against Fultz. Pass to Jackson. Up and over Carter. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got nine points. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Now here's Wagner. No points yet. Now Anthony. Wagner with a screen. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Misses from short range. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Here's Goodwin. It's hauled in by the Magic. Carter's got a seventh rebound here tonight. Wagner outside. Here's Anthony. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? Makes his selection just in time. Well done. There was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And so it's Memphis finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be back in a moment. Played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. Jonathan Isaac is out there with Paolo Bancaro. Then it's Cole Anthony. Then there's Mo Wagner. And it's Fultz in at the two. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Wow. Bancaro using his size to find a path to the rim. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Following the bucket by the Magic. Sends it home from three-point land. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there. Knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Isaac's shot is off. Memphis has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Clark outside. Pass to Bain. From downtown. Sinks it from distance. Bain's got six points in the quarter. What a dangerous player to have in the backcourt. When Bain gets this hot, he will tear a defense apart. Wagner with a screen on Bain. Ben Carroll passes to Wagner. And Carroll with it. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Golden State. And another key for them was his rebound. Just a great effort. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Goodwin passes to Bain. Over Ben Carroll. Bain, no good. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. Back to Anthony. Ben Carroll outside. To Anthony. Takes the three. Clark grabs the board. Memphis leading. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, stolen by Fultz. Pass to Anthony. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. 
Ben Carroll outside. Just five to shoot. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Oklahoma saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Harris has checked in for Orlando. Suggs comes in for Anthony. He gets to the line a lot. Van Carroll knows that and works on those shots at practice. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Pippen, pass to Clark. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Clark's got his first points of the game. Bain against Fultz. Pass to Wagner. Here's Suggs. The three from Ben Carroll. The big man, Ben Carroll, showing the range. And a smart feed from Suggs. The defense making it easy, leaving his teammate open. Here's Pippen. Now Bain. Outside, Williams. Ah! And a foul yeah, call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line for the Grizzlies, Williams. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Williams drops them both. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Bolts against Bain. And Carroll outside. That one falls. Nice assist by Bolts. And Carroll's got 11 here in the quarter alone. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Here's Pippen. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Orlando Magic. On Friday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Saturday, they'll defend home court against the Memphis Grizzlies. And for their matchup with New Orleans, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Here's Ben Carroll. The Grizzlies pull it in. Aldama's got his fourth rebound in this one. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other and it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Ali, thank you. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. Six to shoot. Van Carroll with a screen on Williams. For three, here's Harris. It's rebounded by Memphis. Outside, Williams. Here's Pippen. Down low. Here's Aldama. Drops in the layup for two. And now a seven-point Memphis lead. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. To the inside, Harris. And the 
shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. Vince. And what you like about Gary Harris, you can depend on him to make good decisions and always bring that energy, Grant. Yeah, no doubt, B.A. I mean, he's all about the team, willing to do whatever they ask of him. You can't have enough guys like that on your roster. Free throw drops for Harris. And so it's Memphis with it. Four-point game. Pass to Clark. Williams passes to Bain. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. As steady as they come from three, Desmond Bain is so crucial to this team's offense. Bain against Fultz. Over Bain. Fultz can't get it to go. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Excellent job working the ball around the court and into the paint for the easy made shot. That's just great ball movement. And Carroll outside. Aldama grabs a board. Aldama's got five rebounds in the game. Pippen, pass to Clark. Outside Payne. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got rebound number eight now. Pass to Ben Carroll. Clark grabs the board. Memphis has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Here's Pippen. He's checked by Carter. And the basket by Pippen. And it's an 11-point Memphis lead. You can't give him any daylight or he will do just that. Here's Suggs. He has seven. Pass to Carter. Bain against Fultz. And Carroll the screen. Clock at four. Will it go? Fultz can't get it to go. The Grizzlies have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. And here's Clark. Outside Bain. Outside Williams. Nails it from beyond the arc. Williams has got 10 points. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. And the Magic call time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. So for the Magic, Wagner comes in for Bancaro. And Wagner subbed in for Fultz. And Memphis also making a switch. Jackson is checked in. against Williams. Here's Suggs. He's got seven. And Williams over to help. Wagner for three. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. I like their approach here. Suggs really makes the effort to get his guys set up well. Here's Pippen. He's got seven. Jackson outside. 
4-3, and again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Williams against Wagner. Outside Carter. Pass to Wagner. Shot clock at five. The three is up. And again, it's the magic from Pete. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Bain. 26 points for him last game against the Lakers. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Jaron Jackson picks one up. This is what Carter's built to do. Attack on the interior and impose his will. Carter Jr. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Coming to the league ready to play. Carter is smart, he's versatile, and he's relatively polished. Paolo Bancaro, he's checked in for Orlando. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Jackson, he's checked in for Desmond Bain. He hits the second from the line. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. And here's Memphis now. Outside, Williams. Pass to Jackson. Back to Williams. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Three-pointer, no good. Orlando has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Now here's Ben Carroll. Picked by Carter. And he lobs it up. The steal. Inside, Pippen. It's rebounded by Wagner. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Trailing by 10. Ben Carroll the screen. Wagner, he's open. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Well, the Grizzlies shooting very well. 62% and going right at the defense. We've got 128 left in the half. That one's good for two. Pippen's got nine. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Wagner, the pass to Suggs. Jackson. You've got to be alert whenever Jared is nearby lurking because he's a superb shot blocker. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swap. <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for Memphis. Six on the shot clock. Fade away. Yep, count it. Give him eight. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. Here's Pippen. Nine points in the game. Such a wide open look. And the Grizzlies lead by 13. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Pass to Suggs. There's 37 seconds left in the first half. Yes, it's good. Nice physicality from Wendell Carter Jr. there. Shrugging off the contact and finishing strong. Bain, the pass to Jackson. Here's Pippen. Altama outside over Ben Carroll. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got nine rebounds now. Pass to Ben Carroll.
nifty move. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Defense knows he's a scorer. Van Caro got him to fall for the fake that time. At the line for Orlando, Paolo Van Caro. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. One second left. That one no good. Desmond Bain getting it done for Memphis. Scoring 12 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And for their matchup with the Clippers, well, it should be competitive throughout. Neither team with a clear edge. I just think it's too close to call. You are so afraid to make a pick, huh? Typical Kenny. Oh. Now for a moment to look at our game, everything, and I mean everything, is falling into place for the Grizzlies. The offense is clicking right now. They're moving it well. Stick with it. The defense can't hang. Well, we'll see if they can keep it up and build out this lead even further. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. We've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Well, you got to like what we're seeing from Desmond Bain. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Taylor Jenkins. Jackson out there with Santi Aldama. Then it's Desmond Bain. And it's Pippen in the point guard. At the line for Orlando, Jalen Suggs. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And what I like about Suggs is that he does many things well, and that's because he plays with so much confidence. And he's good on the second. Memphis leading. Here's Pippen. Pass to Jackson. The three is up. Pure from three-point range. Jackson's got 15. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Picked by Carter. All right, let's take a chance to showcase the top setup men at the small forward position in the NBA this year. Franz Wagner third. They're smart, athletic players who move the ball well in any situation, transition, the half-court set. You can count on them to just make good decisions. Teams benefit so much from having these guys at the small forward position that can pass. It's like having two point guards on the floor. 
here's Bain. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Williams against Wagner. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Wendell Carter. Unfortunately, we've seen his ability as a rebounder take a back seat these past few seasons. And I'd like to see him refocus on that element of his game. You can never have enough rebounds, in my opinion. First one falls for him. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Memphis has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pippen, the pass to Bain. Jackson with a screen on Harris. With the step back to the right side. Here's Pippen. No good on the three. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Brian, durability is a focus for John Moran. He said, quote, the number one thing is being available working on my body to get stronger and on the court being way more consistent with my shooting so I don't have to go back to the rack, absorb all that contact, and hit the floor every single time. Ryan? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Allie. One shot. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, at 6'10", he's extremely versatile. He's already a talented scorer at all three levels. Plus, he's able to put the ball on the floor and create for his teammates. Now here's Jackson. He's got 15. Pass to Bain. Five to shoot. Here's Pippen. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for Orlando. 11-point game. To the paint. Here's Bancaro. And Carroll delivers inside. And yeah, when it's all clicking, Bancaro is dangerous. Look at what he's done so far. Bain against Harris. Williams from long range. It's hauled in by the Magic. And Carroll passes to Harris. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Suggs from outside the arc. And again, it's the magic from deep. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Here's Pippen. He's got nine. To the inside. Yes, got a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Now here's Ben Carroll. He's got 21. Back to Suggs. There's the triple. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Here's Pippen. He's got 11. Jackson for three. Rebounded by Suggs. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Pass to Wagner. Jackson against Ben Carroll. Harris outside. Fires from deep. The rebound by Jackson. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. And here's Aldama. Pass to Bain. Aldama in the post. Hounded by Harris. And the basket by Aldama. Have 
to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Harris. Give him eight points now. It's intercepted. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Bain. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And it's a nine-point Memphis lead for Orlando. They've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Suggs, the pass to Ben Carroll. Back to Suggs. Ben Carroll outside. Wagner inside, working on Williams. And he can't bank that one in. For Memphis, they've gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to Pippen. Back to Jackson. Now here's Bain. Over Suggs. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. There's an aggression and a confidence to Desmond Bain's game. It helps him get to the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Memphis. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. Well, in addition, I love their passing. I mean, they're buying into that team concept. That's hard to get out of your young guys. Well, Steve, how about the offensive growth of Desmond Bain season to season? B.A., he's getting more assertive out there. Bain, he hunts shots and he takes shots, which is allowing him to increase his offensive impact. And Bain drops them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Here's Suggs. 14 points for him. Carter, a screen on Williams. Wagner, the pass to Carter. And stolen by Williams. Here's Bain. Aldama outside. For three. And another miss by Memphis. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Harris passes to Wagner. Here's Suggs. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Pippen, defended by Wagner. Down low. Pippen, no good. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. To the middle. Out to Harris to stop the drought. On target from range. Harris has got 11 points. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really well for a young big. Bain finds Williams. Here's Pippen. 11 points in the game. From deep, Bain. Doesn't go for him. Orlando has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Ben Carroll outside. Pass to Suggs. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Aldama's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Pippen. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. With this break, let's bring up the teams who've been clicking offensively over the last month. Fifth, Orlando. This is a team that is simply not missing anything right now. And they are just getting more and more confident in themselves every game. And the Magic making a change here. Wagner's checked in. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by eight. Carter, a screen on Jackson. Up top, Carter. Over Jackson. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Here's Pippen. Uh, 
picked by Aldama. Some room here for Williams. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got rebound number 11. Here's Suggs. Wagner with a screen. From behind the arc. The Grizzlies pull it in. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Aldama outside. Pass to Jackson. Williams on the wing. Here's Pippen. Over Suggs. Pippen, no good. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Carter with it. Soft touch off the glass. Carter's got 11 points. Wendell did this against high-level college competition. Consistently showcased the ability to score with efficiency. Timeout called. Memphis. He's checked in for Carter. Kennard, he's checked in for Memphis. Just 10 games left. Let's see the playoff race in the West. You look at Memphis, their season's basically over, barring some sort of miracle. You know from Memphis, the one thing we know for sure is they've got some changes to make if they hope to sniff the playoffs next season. Orlando on D. Six-point game. Jackson with a screen on Harris. Jackson outside. Pass to Jackson to win the cold spell. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got four rebounds now. Here's Suggs. 14 points for him. Here's Isaac. Defended by Jackson. Isaac, the pass to Wagner. Jackson. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. Clark is checked in for Memphis. Goodwin comes in for Pippen. Fultz against Kennard. Wagner with a screen. Fultz passes to Wagner. Grizzlies foul. Jaron Jackson Jr. Fourth personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Magic. Mo Wagner. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Wagner. And both free throws good for Wagner. Memphis leading. Here's Goodwin. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And the dunk by Jackson. One thing that makes Jaren such a great alley-oop target is his hands measured at enormous 10 inches long. Now here's Fultz. Picked by Isaac. Here's Wagner. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for the Magic. Ron Wagner, two shots. Shoot two. And he makes a first.
And both free throws good for Wagner. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. 152 left in the third. Isaac against Clark. There's Jackson with the three. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got six rebounds here tonight. Isaac for three. Sinks the tray. Isaac's got his first three points of the game. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. What I like during this run, they paid incredible attention to the details at both ends. That needs to continue. Here's Orlando. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Pass to Fultz. A minute nine left in the third. Wagner with a screen on Clark for the lead. And Wagner gets it to go. On the assist by Wagner. Wagner's gotten four this quarter. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. Inside. Suggs with the bucket. And now a three-point magic lead. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. 41 seconds left in the third. Here's Goodwin. He's scoreless. Pass to Jackson. Back to Kennard. Five on the clock. Jackson with a screen on Fultz. Kennard. Money on the 19-footer. Kennard's got his second bucket on the night. Outstanding decision. Kennard is getting better and better at creating offense for himself. Here's Suggs. He's got 16. Let's it go from deep. The shot comes out. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Magic out in front. They're up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. 83. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. It's a Wagner family get-together with Franz at the three and Mo playing inside. Markel Fultz is out there with Cole Anthony. And it's Ben Carroll in at the four. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Drains the triple. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? And here's Fultz. Pass to Anthony. Wagner with a screen. Anthony with it, and Clark picks him up defensively. Count it. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Goodwin. Outside Bain. And here's Clark for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Unselfish score. If his shot isn't there, Bain will move the ball. Up top, Ben Carroll. And Orlando again with the bucket. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Now here's Bain. Jackson, the screen. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That 
coming on Ben Carroll. Desmond Bain can score from anywhere on the floor, and he also can defend multiple positions. Taking two shots. The free throw drops for Bain. The Magic making a switch here. Isaac's checked in. Bain drops them both. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. And Caro outside. Wagner with a screen on Bain. And Caro passes to Wagner. And stolen by Clark. Pass to Goodwin. And here's Clark, hounded by Fultz. Jackson with it. Drills it from deep. Jackson's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Now here's Ben Carroll. Bain comes with a double. And that one's good. And Carroll's got nine points here in the second half. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Here's Clark. Pass to Bain. Launches it. It's hauled in by Isaac. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Here's Wagner, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's on Brandon Clark. First team foul. At the line for Orlando, Paul Wagner. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Wagner. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Carter, he's checked in for Isaac. And Memphis also making a switch. Aldama's checked in. And both free throws good for Wagner. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Clark with a screen on Anthony. Pass to Clark. Now here's Bain, hounded by Fultz. Bain, the pass to Clark. Fires for three. Knocks it down from distance. Clark's got nine points now in the quarter. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. Outside Carter. Back to Anthony. True on the 14th footer. Good decision by Wendell. He's proven that he's willing to pass the ball, whether facing up or operating out of the post. Now here's Bain. Clark with a screen on Fultz. Bain, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Chalk up two there. And it's now only a one-point Memphis lead. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Kennard passes to Jackson. And yep, it's good. And the Grizzlies lead by three. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. To the middle. Here's Carter. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. And you see right there at a solid 250, Carter has no trouble finishing through contact. Outside Bain. 
Aldama outside. Kennard outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Clark. Kicks it out to Jackson. Fires the three. Aldama no good. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Memphis has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Here's Kennard. Nails it from three. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Anthony against Kennard. And Caro outside. Into the lane. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And Carroll's got 27. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. And Fultz comes to help. Kennard outside. It's deflected. The stuff from Pat Carroll. Using that over seven foot wingspan. Kennard against Anthony. Pass to Carter. Shoots over Jackson. Carter can't get it to go. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Clark, no good. The Magic have gotten 7 of 9 from the floor in this fourth. After the outside. Bogner with a screen. To take the lead. Gets the 3 to fall. Bogner's got 5 points in the quarter. Aside from the rim runners in this lead, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Let's get it, Patrick fans. Orlando making some changes. Wagner's checked in for Wagner. Harris comes in for Fultz. And Suggs is subbed in for Anthony. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. And Allie, thank you for that. Jackson, the screen. And the basket by Pippen. And the Grizzlies lead by one. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. And Caro, no good. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Jackson with a screen on Harris. From deep pain. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Okay, it appears an injury out on the floor. And that does not look good. Yeah, so tough. I mean, guys, I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Uh, I just hate seeing this, but no need to jump the gun. Let's see what it turns out to be. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. Wagner. Here's Suggs. Back to Wagner. Pass to Wagner. Back to Wagner. Shot clock at six. Uses the glass on the layup. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. For Memphis, they've gotten eight of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Jackson with it. He's checked by Carter. Jackson, pass to Bain. There's the drive. Rebounded by Suggs. Orlando trailing here. Here's Harris. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Now here's Bain. Tight defense on him. Now here's Aldama. Three-pointer. And again for three. He's got this defense scrambling. Even when they've got two guys on him, he finds a way to get to space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. For three, here's Harris. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got four rebounds now. 
Pippen. Pass to Bain. Williams on the wing. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And the Magic call time here. Time for the four. For your 407 speed. Orlando has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Suggs. Outside Carter. Wagner outside. Back to Carter. Over Williams. That went a little long. Now there's your rim protection. That's how you defend the post. He did a nice job of keeping him off the block. Didn't let him get deep post position. Here's Pippen from deep. Bay connects again That's from nice. distance. And he's now Ooh. set the team record for most threes in a single game. What a shot he's got. A lot of it stems from his confidence. Even when he misses, he's sure the next one's going in. Look, I know he wanted to answer with a three of his own, but you got to play smarter. Play your game, not theirs. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Wagner. Down low. Shot to stop the run. And he dunks it down. Hanging on the rim, just showing off. <laughs> That's how you extend the glory right there. Out to the right wing. Here's Pippen. And again, it's Memphis with a three. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Carter, a screen on Bain. Outside Carter. Pass to Suggs. Four on the clock. Back to Carter. From deep. Grizzlies with the rebound. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Grizzlies. In today's game, you need to shoot it well from three. That was the difference maker. Exactly. And the defense didn't rotate out quickly enough to disrupt their shooters. And this will go down as win number 25 for them this year. And they have to feel pretty good about themselves taking the first two games of the season between these teams. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Desmond Bain. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Here's Pippen. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Oh, nice D from Carter. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by 17. Pass to Wagner. Carter with it. Here's Suggs. There's the three. Drops in the three. Yeah, good to see Suggs bury the triple. This will only help with his confidence. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. Here's Pippen. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor. But is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active. Just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense. You know, all those things keep me engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Jaron. Congrats on your success. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up for Steve Smith.
Grant Hill and Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Desmond Bain.